All right, so we uh, were bush hogging last weekend, and the farm track uh, had another problem, and the steering cylinder on it started leaking. So it had been leaking last year, and I probably should have just overhauled the cylinder over the winter, but I didn't, and I waited until we were needing to use it, and uh, that's when it decided to just start gushing oil. So anyway, I've already replaced it here, but I'm just kind of showing the cylinder before I, before I show uh, how we repacked it and all that. So this is kind of what it looks like on the tractor itself. And uh, so we'll kind of get to the overhaul part at this point. All right, so we're uh, unscrewing the cap on this uh, farm track steering cylinder. <clears throat> we just put a uh, pipe on this pipe wrench and it popped loose. It didn't take too much. I'm pretty sure this is the same cylinder that goes on the farm track. Probably the 535, 545, 665, 675. <clears throat> the farm track 70 and farm track 80. I would have same. About to see what this thing looks like. So we we had just put this uh, cylinder down in some degreaser with water, so that's why it looks a little foggy. But there's the piston. There's not a lot of information online about these cylinders or who makes them. The tractor, this four-wheel drive tractor, has a Carrero front end. And I'm not sure if the cylinder kind of comes with the Carrero steering. Uh, but uh, anyway, the cylinder's not, the tractor's not, I think it's a 2006 model, so it's it's in really good shape. And you'll see why later in the video why this thing was actually leaking. Big spread. <laughs> there we go. So we're removing the nut. Um, behind the nut is a washer. And once you remove this, you can remove the piston, and then the, the rod will slide out of the the cylinder cap. So at this point we're just pulling out the dust, the wiper seal. Um, looked pretty good. It was not dried or anything. Now the inner packing seal, this green one, is the one that uh, looked uh, rough. And if you look closely after we pull this uh, seal out, by the way, I picked up these little picks from Harbor Freight. And they were super handy to get in here to these seals. But you'll notice there's a piece of plastic stuck, almost embedded in this seal. I think that was what uh, was the cause of the actual failure here. So after we pull it out here with the pliers, you'll, you'll see it kind of clearly. I mean, it almost just looked like scotch tape it was just stuck in the seal and uh, there was just bits of green inside this uh, packing area here so I think this is why the seal kind of let go so early the rest of the you know the o-ring all of that was in fairly good shape or at least felt pretty you know malleable and wasn't dry or anything <clears throat> so there's a, a big o-ring on the back side of this cap and then the piston it's like an old aluminum piston that has look like a, bat, a brass ring in the middle we just chose to reuse that I didn't replace it with a plastic one so I got this seal kit from Diamond R equipment uh, it came in the mail and Diamond R had a great deal. They had a seal kit that they had made up for this tra farm track part number, ESL 14679. Uh, 
from farm track this kit costs 242 dollars um and diamond r had a kit that they had made up based on the farm track kit for twenty dollars and fifty cents plus 790 shipping so big shout out to uh, diamond r equipment so here we are putting the uh, seal kit back together we always uh, put a little bit of grease on the the actual seals when they go back in um, so here's I've already got the inner packing ring in there we actually went from the back side of the cap and pushed it down through this hole and just pushed it through with a socket extension um, the little flange on the seal will point to the piston end on the inner seal and then this outer wiper seal the flange will point to the rod end so here we are just putting the wiper seal back in sure it's in there flush so and this is really all that there was to this uh, to this cylinder and yeah we again we had this uh, the big black o-ring the one on the back side of the cap uh, went in super easy and again we just chose to reuse the it looked like a brass ring on the piston um, and then here's the cylinder back together we're just kind of making sure it had good suction and pressure and it did and so anyway it's back together now ready to go on the tractor <laughs> 